Party! Hello everybody, welcome back to more exciting times with Artie Plays Plants vs. Zombies. We are halfway through the Nighttime Front Yard World 2. And we just finished hunting Squirbos, I mean, doing playing Wack-A-Zombie. We got five levels left, and we just got a funk of new plant. So, let's see what this is all about, and let's finish up World 2. <laughs> Uh, that laugh never gets old. It's fantastic. Oh boy, okay. So, we have a new plant here. The Hypno Shroom makes a zombie fight for you. So the Hypno Shroom, when you put it down, when a zombie eats it, it'll become, it'll become, like, hypnotized and it'll fight on your side. So they'll turn around and basically walk the other direction and start eating the zombies they come across. It's not very good. It's like a one-hit kill plant, basically, but having a zombie fight for you is not as good as you might think. Whiff! Honestly, one real exception, and that's this guy, the Football Zombie. Football Zombie is one of easily the most frightening zombies in the entire game. So I believe he has the same amount of HP as a Buckethead Zombie, maybe even more, and he's like twice as fast. So yeah, if you don't have a one-hit kill plant at the ready, then you're kind of screwed, unless you've got like a massive army. So Potato Lines are probably not even going to be that good, because... He's so fast that unless you like put it at the back of your lawn and are willing to let him just eat everything in his path, probably ain't gonna kill him. Chomper can work, but Chomper's also very expensive. So, this is where Hypno Shroom comes in. So, we get Puff Shroom and Sun Shroom and Fume Shroom and Grave Buster and Hypno Shroom. And we only want Hypno Shroom really for the football zombie. Because Hypno Shroom does have a slow recharge. So, Hypno, Hypno Shroom will be basically only used for Hip football zombie. The other zombies aren't really worth hypnotizing. Then we'll take Snow Pea and Walnut. Let's rock! Let's play ball! Yeah, the idea of Hypno Shroom is cool. It's like, wow, I can have a zombie like fight on my side? That's so cool! Except, like, having a Cone Zombie fight on your side is not very good. Like, Cone Zombie will get eaten by the other zombies pretty quickly. And again, with a solid offense, you don't need it. Like if, you get, if you've got a solid offensive lineup of plants that will shoot zombies, you don't need to have recruit zombies to your side, especially since it's, again, it has a slow recharge, so you're gonna be, uh, gonna be waiting a while to do that frequently. So it can be nice to have as, like, an emergency backup, but generally speaking, I really only ever use Hypno Shroom on levels that have Hypnos, uh, that have football zombies. And even then, later on in the game, you'll get a, an even better way of dealing with football zombies, so. At the moment, the Hypno Shroom is good for football zombies, but it falls off later on in the game, so I consider Hypno Shroom to be a fairly lackluster plant. We're still definitely going to use it, and we kind of need it just to deal with the football zombies, but eh. Long term, we're not going to be seeing a whole lot of use out of him. That is the wrong plant. <laughs> That's okay. Oh boy, here he comes. Alright, here comes the Hypno Shroom. Look how fast he moves. And I promise you, he has a lot of HP. He might have more HP than the Buckethead Zombie, and you know, you know how much HP the Buckets have. They have a lot. Yeah, I, do, I, do, I don't want to deal with that mess. You either need a ridiculously good offensive lineup, or you're going to need something like a Hypno Shroom. Okay, at this point, I don't really care about using Grave Buster unless I have Sun to spare. So I think at this point, I'm going to focus on... Probably... I should probably focus on Snow Peas. Because again, having a Snow Pea in a lane makes every other plant in that lane effectively twice as good. Oh, don't tell me that this is the last wave. Oh, it is. I should have brought me a cherry bomb. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I want Fume Shroom to help me take out these guys. Actually, in this case, it'll be nice. It's gonna be nice that Football Zombie is actually on the faster side, because now... There we go. Thank you, thank you, uh... 
Did I say Hypno Zombie? Hypno Shroom. Thank you, Hypnotized Football Zombie. That was very nice of you. Doom Shroom can shred him. There we go! Alright. I need to start bringing Cherry Bomb more, because he really does help out. I, I've underestimated Cherry Bomb. I used to probably rank him in the C tier. I think I'm going to bump him up to B tier now. You got a new plant. Scaredy Shroom. Costs 25 sun. Long range shooter that hides when zombies, when enemies get near it. So Hypno Shroom is basically a pea shooter. Hypno Shroom. Scaredy Shroom is basically a pea shooter for a quarter of the price. However, if a zombie gets, I think, within one square of him, maybe two squares, then he cowers in the ground and just will hide and not do anything. But as long as you put them in the back of your lane, like, you're good. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to take advantage of Scaredy Shroom. That'll be great to have such a cheap offensive power. So, yeah. Doop, 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 doop. And... Yep, Cherry Bomb. I'm sick of I'm sick of bringing Snow Pea and not doing anything with him. I mean, I technically did something with him last round, but barely. And as you can see, there we're getting to have more graves on each level. The further into the into World Two you get, the more graves tend to be on levels, which makes Grave Buster more indispensable. Oh yeah, I for yeah I forgot how sh truly short range the puff shrooms are. I think they can only shoot like a little more than two squares in front of them, so that is a bummer. But they still are really good because they're free. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason cannon fodder are considered very good in like strategy games. Yeah, so I'll show off the scary shroom. So yeah, has just as much range as a pea shooter, i.e. infinite. Same DPS. Just keep him away from the zombies and you're good. And again, Scaredy Shroom has a fast recharge, which makes him even better. Right, let's start let's start making a dent in these graves, because I don't want to see zombies popping up this far back, especially when I have Scaredy Shrooms all the way back here. so good. No real shocking surprises yet. I should try to keep close to 75 sun on hand at any time, so that way if a football zombie comes, I can quickly plant either a cherry bomb or a hypno shroom. I think generally, if a level introduces a new zombie, there will only be one huge wave as a rule of thumb. I'm not sure if that's the case for every single level, but that seems to be a pretty safe bet. And if it's the second, if it's like the level right after the level that a new zombie gets introduced on, then generally they'll have at least two waves. We destroyed his screen door. How nice for us. We are on a roll. Yeah, Scary Shrooms? I don't often hear people talk about Scary Shrooms being good at all, but they're quite nice for these nighttime levels. Oh, 
Like, you can't rely on them exclusively, obviously, but... Actually... I mean, to be honest, Scaredy Shrooms plus Puff Shrooms can take out most anything. Alright, we got three lanes of Scaredy Shrooms. This is great. And now we can start replacing the Puff Shrooms with Fume Shrooms. We've got a great amount of sun now, so we can plant a Hypno Shroom if things come to worst. We can even plant a Cherry Bomb if we want. This is fantastic. I know football zombies are coming eventually. They'll be homecoming for sure. This this surely is the last huge wave, right? Maybe? Yeah, here we go. Alright. There's football zombie. There was one football zombie on that entire level. I thought there would be more, but uh, that's level completed, so we get a new plant. We get a new plant. Ice Shroom temporarily immobilizes all zombies on the screen. 475 Sun. Has a slow recharge, as you might expect. That would be ridiculously broken if it didn't. So here's the thing. Ice Shroom can be a pretty powerful plant, but again, because the, the game is so easy, the ability to immobilize all zombies on screen is nice, but far from necessary. If this plant was in Plants vs. Zombies 2, it would be a top-tier plant. One of the best in the entire game. But, yeah, I mean, we'll definitely use it. It's pretty decent, but I do feel like you don't need it for a whole lot. Alright, and this introduces a brand new zombie. It's the Disco Zombie. Now, fun fact, in the earliest releases of Plants vs. Zombies... Disco Zombie was originally, like, Michael Jackson Zombie. Like, quite literally, which is kind of crazy. They changed it to Disco Zombie for, um, reasons. I grew up with Disco Zombie, so I I'm happy to see him, but I know a lot of people are like, I don't like Disco Zombie, I want Michael Jackson Zombie. Well, too bad. We have Disco Zombie and he's still fun. So, this should be a pretty short level, so... Puff Shroom, Sun Shroom, Fume Shroom, Grave Buster, Hypno Shroom, Scaredy Shroom, and sure, we'll get Ice Shroom, we'll show that off. So yeah, these new plants we're getting from the nighttime levels are, uh, pretty good, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> very, very useful. We're taking- <laughs> we literally <laughs> just took all of the nighttime plants that we had. <laughs> Nothing really new here, so I guess I'll go over the Disco Zombie. So Disco Zombie's a really, really weird zombie. So, he comes in, he does, like, it's weird because, like, when he first comes on screen, he'll start dancing, like, and he'll move really quickly while he's dancing, but then he'll stop, summon a bunch of backup dancer zombies, who have the same, basically the same amount of HP as a regular zombie, and, like, he'll basically surround himself with the backup dancer zombie, so there'll be one to the left, one to the right, one above him, and one below him. And then they all kind of, like, move in sync slowly while dancing for your lawn. And he can keep re-summoning them over and over again. So, like, if you're not careful, you can end up having to fight a huge amount of zombies from Disco Zombie. But Disco Zombie and all of the zombie backup dancers that he summons are all very low HP. So, especially if you have Fume Shrooms, he's really easy to deal with. And even in the worst case scenario, he's never, like, super terrifying. He's nothing compared to, like, Football Zombie. He's just a weird... He's a weird enemy. But he's a fun enemy. I like it. He's, it's quirky. I, li I like quirky enemies. Here he comes! You'll, you're gonna see. Yep. <laughs> they have those bad disco mustaches. And yeah, what's weird is, like, when one of... When any one of the dancer zombies, including him, starts eating something, they all have to stop while they eat, so they stay in sync. And they'll just occasionally stop moving. This is what Ice Shroom does. Just freezes all zombies on screen. And once you kill the Disco Zombie, no more backup dancer zombies can be summoned in. So your priority should be killing Disco Zombie. But it, it can be annoying because his backup dancer zombies can get in the way. But again, he's, he's not a bad enemy at all. I 
And what I want to do is, next time we see a Disco Zombie, I want to hypnotize him. Because you actually get an achievement for using a Hypno Shroom on a Disco Zombie. Alright, here's the hu huge wave. I, I believe this will be the only one, because it's the first level that introduces Disco Zombie. Sure enough. Alright, where is he? Oh no, he spawned in the worst place. Darn it! Wrong zombie hit that. That's okay, we'll get another chance to hypnotize the disco zombie. Alright, take that Mr. Regular Zombie, and here we go. The last plant that we get in World 2, and it's a doozy. It's the Doom Shroom. It destroys a large area, leaving a crater in its wake. So, you know the Cherry Bomb? Cherry Bomb's pretty decent, you know? Can blow up just a bunch of zombies at once. Cherry Bomb blows up a 3 by 3 area. The Doom Shroom blows up a 5 by 5 area. If you plant the Doom Shroom in the right place, it literally insta-kills every zombie on screen. It's nuts. And it's cheaper than cherry bomb it's ridiculous now the thing is it leaves a crater in its way after you use it wherever you plant the doom shroom will create a crater there and once there's a, a when there's a crater on the ground you cannot plant anything on top of it until it's healed and the crater doesn't heal for about three minutes but even so there are multiple places that you can plant the doom shroom to insta kill everything and if you plant it, like, at the front of the yard, where the right next to where the zombies spawn in, you're not going to be putting any plants there anyways. So, like, yeah, it's totally busted. <laughs> Forget the ice shroom. Alright, so, uh, another nighttime level, we're taking... Yeah, we're definitely taking Doom Shroom. See ya, Ice Shroom. I mean, you're not bad, but, like, why would I immobilize everything on screen when I could just murder everything on screen instead? Is it still murder if they're the undead that you're murdering? You decide. But yeah, we, we definitely get some powerful plants in this world, huh? <laughs> I've already forgotten about pea shooters, haven't you? <laughs> well, don't don't get your hopes up. So you'll remember, I said things like the repeater was one of the best plants in the game, and we haven't really planted any repeaters at all in this world. Well, here's the thing. There's gonna be a catch. You're probably seeing all these amazing plants that we have, like Sun Shrooms and Puff Shrooms, Doom Shrooms, Scaredy Shrooms, all this, like, man, why would you use anything else? Well, there's, there's a catch. We'll figure out what the catch will be in the next video, though. But for now, just enjoy it. Life is to be enjoyed. If you worry about every little thing, then you won't have a whole lot of fun, and you will die of, <laughs> die of stress. You don't want to die of stress. Take it from me, I've died of stress before. It's not fun. Nah, just kidding. But honestly, dying of stress doesn't sound like much fun now, does it? All these guys died of stress and now they can't move on. That's a gem. Gems are important because if you pick them up, you get a thousand dollars. Just like in real life. Definitely make sure you don't drop the gems. Or let the gems disappear before you pick them up, I guess. Is the proper way of uh, saying it. Yeah, honestly, as long as you just keep planting those puff shrimps, you should be good. Just figure out where you need <laughs> attack power the most and plant appropriate plant accordingly. 
And again, the strategy that I'm using here is not necessarily, is not the only strategy you can use. I'm not even going to be as arrogant as to say it's the best strategy, but this is the strategy that I use, and it works very well for me. So, this is the one I would recommend people try, because I know it's tried and true. Alright, here we go. We're going to want a fume shroom here. Okay, yeah. So fume shrooms have enough range that you can plant them here, so I generally recommend don't plant scaredy shrooms beyond the first four columns, is my personal recommendation. See, that screen door zombie tried eating the Grave Buster while he was still eating the Grave. They're not indestructible. Oh, that's beautiful. Now I can plant wherever I want. Here's Disco Zombie. Oh no, did I plant the Hypno Shroom right in front of him so he's not going to eat it? God gone you. I hypnotized the backup dancer zombie, but that doesn't count. It's nerf or nothing. And fume shrooms kind of just totally shred the disco zombies. Alright, I kinda need another disco zombie. I think another disco zombie will show up during a huge wave. Disco Zombie, come on, here we go. Just eat the mushroom. There we go, Disco's Undead achievement. And now I'll show off the power of the Doom Shroom. Doom. If you plant the Doom Shroom in the center lane, either in this square, this square, or this square, preferably these two squares, every zombie on screen, unless they're really far down your lawn, is going to die. Instantly. Snap at your fingers. It's completely broken. <laughs> Doom Shroom is nuts. And again, cheaper than a cherry bomb! Like, what the heck? You found a note. Hello, we would like to visit for a midnight snack. How does ice cream and brains sound? Sincerely, the zombies. Oh boy, the zombies left us another note. Time for the final level of the front yard at night. World 2. It's a never conveyor belt level, everybody, and we got a whole bunch of zombies to deal with. Alright, so, scaredy shrooms, make sure they're in the back. Hold on to your ice shrooms and doom shrooms and hypno shrooms. Puff shrooms I recommend putting closer to the front of the lawn. Rats. I was hoping that one puff shroom would take him out. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, that puff shroom will finish off him, no problem. You want to save your hypno shrooms for things like, uh, football zombies? Although, admittedly, I might have to use a Hypno Shroom on this cone guy. I had enough Hypno Shrooms that I was fine doing that. And again, you can also use Doom Shrooms to neutralize uh, football zombies as well. I would kind of like to get some Grave Busters, though. Oh, thank you! Not where I want to go. 
got too close. Yep, see, that's the problem. Scaredy shrooms get scared. Man, I have... It's nice of the ice shroom to not hit that guy who was on my team. I'm gonna use a Grace Buster here, because that is the perfect place to put a Doom Shroom. So the Kimmy Robot levels are definitely the tougher levels, just because kind of up to luck of the draw. They have given me a lot of Doom Shrooms. I should use one. Doom! Oh my, a huge wave of zombies is approaching. What should I do about that? Blackbeard is leading the army once again. Oh wow, the backup dancer zombie still popped up in time, which is funny. Alright, football zombie, gotta hypnotize him. Oh boy, another football zombie. Now I'm getting the Grave Buster. If football zombies were more common, then they'd be a lot more frightening. Again, I'm, I'm munching up that grave because it's the perfect place to put a Doom Shroom. Speaking of Doom Shroom... Yeah. Wow! Alright. Oh, I'll put the Doom Shroom right there. That also will kill everything on screen in that situation. The crater is starting to heal at last. Alright, football zombie. There we go. Oh, so now this football zombie's gonna fight that football zombie. So they're both gonna eat each other up. So that football zombie came out on top, simply because the other football zombie was injured. Okay, once his helmet is down, that football zombie's very close to death, so... That's a relief. Wow. Well, I've, I've gotten very fortunate with how many Doom Shrooms that, that have been handed out. Doom! Like, you are not normally supposed to get this many Doom Shrooms on this level. I normally get way more regular mushrooms that, like, are, have offensive power and way fewer Doom Shrooms. Alright. Well, everybody's as good as dead now because... Just wait a little bit for them to all spawn in, and then... Doom. And just like that, we destroyed the entire huge wave with one plant. Completely busted. <laughs> penny Pincher Achievement. Oh, we got the Penny Pincher Achievement. I got... I guess... I guess the Penny Pincher Achievement is still in the game, it's just more than 30 coins. Alright, that's cool. We got a new plant! The Lily Pad costs 25 sun. It lets you plant non-aquatic plants on top of it. Well, that's a little sneak peek at what the next world might entail. Yep, we might be going to a water world. But unlike most water worlds, the next world is actually quite fun. <laughs> so, look forward to that next time. But we are out of time for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. That has been Nighttime in the Front Yard. Next episode, it'll be daytime again, and we're going to a new place. Maybe a place that has water that we can make use of lily pads. However... There's going to be something that throws a bit of a wrench into our plans in the next episode. Again, you've probably been watching what I have been doing in the last two videos. Been like, wow, this just seems broken. Why would you use anything else? Well, you're about to find out why. So, 
we'll have to deal with that wrench next time, but we're out of time for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you tune in for the next episode. It's going to be a lot of fun. Have a great day, and God bless.